Unfortunately, I have seen horses colic when camping. I also know people whose horses are dead or badly injured from a lack of trailer training, and I've heard way too many horror stories. I've seen horses miserable because riders put their own wishes ahead of their horse's health. In all cases, these things happen because the horse was not trained and preconditioned for the experience. If followed, the information in this clinic will help you ensure that your horse is a happy camper. So, your horse is comfortable with loading and trailering. He is pen trained and he is fit for the amount of riding you will be doing. Well done. Now you deserve a perfect trip as well, and a few extras will help. When you arrive at your destination, look up the number of a few local vets. If something does happen, you will need these numbers quickly. Ride with any emergency numbers you think you might need, and a cell phone. Bring along some vet wrap and bandages, just in case. If you will be exploring, bring a compass. If a GPS will work where you are going, bring one, but unfortunately they don't work well in a forest. Visit your local pet store and get a small light for your horse's halter. It will make it easier to check on him at night and to find him if he should escape. Have a dog tag made with your horse's name and your phone number and put it on his halter. I also have one on my bridle, just in case I come off my thoroughbred and she disappears. If your horse has access to shelter at home, bring a rain sheet and warm blanket, since he likely won't have shelter when you are camping. A fly sheet, fly mask, and bug spray might also be a good idea, depending on the season. Check all your tack for wear before leaving, and bring along an extra set of reins. Several saddle pads are a good idea as well, since you may be riding two or three times a day and want a dry pad each time. Have checklists for your horse, yourself, your camping equipment, and your food. If you want a copy of mine, get in touch through YouTube and I'll email mine to you. Sleep in something you don't mind being seen in because you won't have time to change if your horse has a problem in the night. Congratulations! This is the end of the Camping with Horses clinic. If you have looked at all nine parts, you will find that they work together to give you a positive camping experience and to keep your horse healthy. If this clinic has been helpful to you, please leave a positive comment and rating on those videos you felt were most helpful. Meanwhile, Major, Bally Bay, and I wish you the healthiest and happiest of camping experiences. Happy trails.